What's going on, guys? I've been back at the barber shop, so I'm working full time again right now instead of cutting from the house. So I apologize that I haven't been able to make my videos as frequently as I was doing, but uh, I have a bunch of stuff planned out and um, there, there's a lot of stuff to look forward, blah, forward to this year. So a lot of good videos coming. One that I'm working on right now that should be up in the next day or so. Uh, I have a bunch of cool stuff on the way that's in the mail currently. So those videos won't take any time to knock out, you know, unboxing, first impressions, etc. The ones that take longer are, you know, the full reviews because I actually take the time to carry and use knives that I'm reviewing uh, extensively. And, you know, you can't do that overnight, especially when it comes to multiple knives. And, uh, yeah, I, I just miss you guys, miss talking to you guys every day, and I uh, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, today, I'm carrying four knives. Well, I actually have three on me, but uh, I had an extra one in my jacket pocket. I'll show you those in a second. First, show you my uh, barber setup right here. And got more goodies inside. Those are my main cordless clippers. And a piece just fucking broke. But look, this right here is my, uh, my book. This is all for the one video that I'm working on right now. Information that I wrote out. And I have a little bit left to do. And check this out. Oh, this is all the knives that I want to check out. <laughs> That's a long list. And then here's the video ideas I have currently. So, oh, this is the stuff that you guys can look forward to in the very near future. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm carrying today. So, of course, you know I got to carry my favorite knife of all times. Hinder XM18 3.5 inch Harpoon Spanto. Full titanium. Custom hardware. Nice laid back cami. Mirror polished edge. Nice and, well, you can't call this knife slicey. Even with this edge because it's, it's so fucking thick. But nonetheless, it's still a great knife. And then in my back pocket, I have my Spidey Chef. I have carried and used this knife for maybe three and a half years now. Uh, for a long period of time, when my collection was much smaller, I carried this thing every freaking day. And as you can see, I have a Lynch Northwest deep carry wire replacement clip beautiful 17 degree per side kme mirror polished edge actually believe it or not this one is not a mirror polish this is the 1500 grit kme gold series diamond stone uh, that is the finish you can achieve with the 1500 grit gold series stone which is included in the KME when you buy it and um, then all I did was a little bit of stropping afterwards on beaver craft leather double-sided paddle strop with the standard green compound nothing too fancy this thing is ridiculously sharp right now because I literally just put this edge on maybe two nights ago um, and then, oh yeah, here we go. My Microtech Ultratech. This is one that I've had for a couple months now. Um, the first Microtech that I got was the 
Scarab 2, and that was actually one of my grail knives. And I was super excited. Um, you can look back through my videos and check out the um, unboxing first impression, impressions. Uh, the title's like unboxing a grail knife because it was a grail knife of mine. And uh, about a minute or so into it, I went from super stoked and excited to you could definitely see the disappointment on my face. Um, I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but the action was horrible. Um, I could fire it. Uh, it was hard to fire, but I could fire it one-handed no problem, but I could not retract it one-handed no problem. This one, it's not necessarily easy, but this is my left hand, my non-dominant hand. And you see how I can do this one. Switch to my right hand. So this one works nice. Uh, I also put the edge on this one with the KMA. Super sharp. Pretty cool knife. I actually, one of my very next videos that I'm gonna be doing is the full review on this knife. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you are staying tuned, like I know you guys are, because I have the best subscribers slash supporters on YouTube. You guys fucking rock. Then, the fourth knife, Spider-Co Shaman, know what you're thinking. Colory Shop exclusive, nope. This is the Knife Joker exclusive, crew wear, and it came with the forest green my car or the forest green g10 scales which i still have but i really love the look of the orange and black uh colory shop xhp shaman configuration so uh, my buddy sent me these orange scales that he had laying around love this orange and black together with the black MXG gear, deep carry shaman clip. This one also has a cami edge. I did not do this one completely polished either. This one has a uh, 1500, no, maybe this might be a 600 and that. Can't fucking talk to get, but can't talk today. Um, might be a 600 grit and then strapped. So I know I wanted to leave this one a little bit toothy and aggressive. So I did that. This thing is nasty sharp as well. The action on this one is a little bit lacking, unfortunately. It's probably my only knife that I haven't been able to work out the action. If it didn't come smooth already, um, 99.9% .9 of the time I'm able to get these strained out and you know super super smooth but for some reason no matter what I do with this one it's just giving me fucking problems so um yeah I think that is uh that's gonna be all for right now just wanted to do a little update and uh, yeah, see you guys. And oh, I, I was having a brain fart as usual. Um, we are getting close to 1000 and you guys that have been here for a little while, you know what that means. That means 1K giveaway. A lot of you already know what all the prizes are. It's three prize packages. Um, I contributed some stuff and then a lot of men or companies and a lot of my friends in the knife community also threw stuff in to even or swing the pot a little bit. And there is three prize packages, total of uh, I think $600 in prizes, might even be more than that. Um, it referred to my uh, previous videos going over the details of that but 
I'm really looking forward to that. Really hope that it goes to one of you guys that are always here, always commenting every video. You guys know who you are. It would make me so happy to see one of you guys get it. But um, either way, I'm just happy to be able to share some awesome items with some of you guys. And the official entry video will be going up soon. We're almost at 900. Um, I haven't checked it today. We might be there. I don't know. When I get close to 950, which most likely will be within the next couple days, I'm going to put up the entry video. I was thinking about putting up the entry video further in advance, but you know, that would allow more people to enter, possibly even get me more subscribers. But the thing is, is I want you guys that have been here, you know, for a while now, um, my supporters since the beginning, I want you guys specifically to have the best chance possible to win. So that's why I'm waiting till we are literally almost there to do the entry video. And then to enter, you know, obviously be subscribed and leave a comment. And then, um, you know, it's one entry per person, you know, double comments. That's not going to do you any good. So only one comment per person. And in that comment, I want you to tell me what you like a lot that I do. What's the, uh, what's your favorite thing to see me do when it comes to my videos and what's your least favorite thing? What is the, the one thing that you wish I would change or do differently? Um, you know, some constructive criticism, um, be polite. Obviously this is my channel, my house. I am open ears to all criticism. I will not take it negative, but if you're a dickhead, uh, you know, you might not get entered. So watch yourself. Uh, I'm always respectful and I, uh, I expect the same thing in return and I appreciate the same thing in return. And now I'm just fucking rambling and rambling. But yeah. So, you know, the 1K giveaway could be most likely sometime next week. That's freaking awesome. Uh, really looking forward to that and yeah i think i think that's finally it so it's good seeing you guys you know i love you jesus loves you and uh you know thank you guys for watching thank you for your comments thank you for your likes every fucking thing you guys are the best make sure you know that um uh, Stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.